welcome to my channel my name is Bev it's been a while I haven't been to somewhere because I was quite busy with work and finally I got a weekend off so today I'm actually in the middle of the desert I'm gonna spend a night here in the dunes camping and safari in Ras Al Khaimah so I'm gonna show you the place let's go as usual I used Google map to navigate this place from the main road I entered the Al Wadi desert area it has a narrow and smooth road there is a signage on the roadside that helped me to locate the property from there I entered the rough road but still passable using my sedan car so this is the main entrance of the accommodation let's go inside there is a mosque a children's playground near to the small reception I just checked in and actually I booked the dome tent with private toilet. They have different kinds of rooms and I'm going to show you later the other rooms. But right now I'm going to tour you to the room which I booked. This is the premium dome tent. The interior designs are mostly in gold and white. So look at the curtains. I think this is queen size bed with pillows and white blanket of course the room is air-conditioned <laughs> there are extra blankets and pillows I think guests need this stuff during winter time mm -hmm. and on this side a small like tea or coffee table with two chairs uh, it's still very sunny <laughs> so this is the view uh, it's like a panoramic dome tent like I can see the view the outside view while I'm here inside of the tent I chose this room actually because of the private toilet it's kind of small of course because it's inside of the tent it has a mirror a sink toilet bowl and of course a shower the tent rate ranges from 900 dirhams, including taxes with half board meals. The floor is with grass carpet. This is like a small balcony with sitting area. It's still very sunny right now, so I think I'm gonna room around the area later on after a couple of hours or after an hour. I'm out and gonna explore the property this is in the middle of the desert in wadi desert the property has five premium dome tents which has a private bathroom and five deluxe dome tent it has shared bathroom so guests would be sharing the bathroom that's why i didn't book that but the construction of the private toilet has been started so eventually all the tents will have a private loo I've shown you the dome tents and this are the three houses actually I want to book this one but there's no private bathroom and have you seen the igloo tent over there yeah you can also stay in the igloo tent it's a bit cheaper of course and with the shared toilet also a tree house offers an air-conditioned twin or double room In this side there is a small majlis and nobody is here right now the sitting area where you can just simply sit here and relax have a drink I think this is the barbecue area there is some barbecue stuff over here and there are lots of swings a touch on the tree there are lots of like small trees in the property which is good these are the igloo tents here. It's settled all together in just one place. 
So this is the activity area and at the same time, I think the dinner area. The center stage is surrounded by long tables covered with traditional Arabic fabric. And near to it, there are few sitting area. And a small gazebo for henna painting. In the other side, there is a small souvenir shop. As you can hear, they are playing loud Arabic music. Actually, the booking I had, it includes half boards. So I can have a free breakfast and free dinner and free drinks like water, tea, coffee, and soft drinks. But the alcohol in the bar is chargeable. <laughs> This is a bar in the middle of the desert. Cheers, guys. I don't actually enjoy alcoholic drinks, so I'm just having a soda. And hidden in one corner, Sisha is free of charge. This is the viewing area. It's elevator from the ground so I have a better view of the property those are the dome tents the tree houses and the igloo tents over there and this is the activity area here people are doing sunboarding over there and come already those activities are free of charge but the quad biking the other activities are with additional charges I will try to do sunboarding maybe tomorrow morning and quad biking. I have done it several times before but it seems like I want to do it again here. So let's see. Obviously this is the camel riding area and that sand dune is for the sunboarding. Guys, the sun is about to set. I have to watch the sunset. You know, it's my one of my favorites. So, as you can see, guys, there are lots of people over here. Lots of guests, actually. The accommodation is fully booked for today because it's holiday, so everyone is out. Look at that. The sun is setting over the desert. It's a beautiful view. You know, I love sunset. It's always beautiful I'm now walking back to the tent and maybe take a rest for a while quad bikes are available and it will cost 100 dirhams for one hour there's a small chalet over there I have to go up and maybe sit for a while there and rest and enjoy the view this place is a good place if you want to escape the busy life in the city it's a bit far but you can spend quality time with friends or families you know this is the small gazebo on top of the sand dunes and it's kind of decorated with like old lambs, artificial plants inside. So now I'm just relaxing, sitting here in the gazebo, just enjoying the view. The sun left an orangey color in the sky it's beautiful i'm waiting for the dinner i don't know what time the dinner is served but i think around 7 it's still 6 p.m so one more hour the music actually makes some noise and the sound from the quad bikes running around the area it's time for dinner so i'm going to the dinner area Starter is served before the entertainment starts. So, before dinner, there are some shows that the Egyptian folklore dance. I don't know how many times I've seen this kind of dance. Next on 
dance is the fire dance. So this is going to be the first time that I'm going to witness a fire dancing in the middle of the desert. <laughs> That fire dance was awesome. I liked it. And the last one, it's beautiful. It was like fireworks. So now, time for dinner. This is what I got. The food was okay. It's average. It was tasty. Food. Maybe I wasn't just that hungry. After the entertainment, uh, dessert was served. There were fruits and some sweets and I stayed a while in the bonfire just to keep myself myself warm actually it's uh, kind of cold already it's already past eight I get my small henna on my left ring finger I wanted to put my name but um, I have to pay for that they have only three options for free henna painting so I chose the free one <laughs> Thank you so much. And now I'm walking towards the tent. Just want to rest for a while. It's still very early to sleep, so I'm just uh, savoring the moment. <laughs> I don't get this, you know, rest and relaxation all the time. Good morning. Well, I had a good sleep last night, and it's already 8:30 in the morning. So. I'm walking towards the restaurant area where I had dinner last night for breakfast. They said the breakfast will be like from 8 to 8.30 but I don't know if I could still get a food. <laughs> Hopefully yes. I'm gonna have my breakfast now. This is what I got. Omelet, mm, bread, veggies, and sausages. I'll try to do sandboarding. It's a bit sunny actually. It's a bit warm, but it's okay. Sunboarding is so much fun. I enjoyed it. I want to do more actually, but see I'm already sweating. It's pretty hard. I want to do the buggy ride, but It's pretty hard. Maybe I wouldn't enjoy it So maybe I'm gonna do it some other days in some other places. Maybe this is the shared toilet I came here because I just want to show you if it's good if it's clean I hope nobody's here. And there are two sinks. It's quite big, clean. So I think it's it's fine. So now time to leave this place. I stayed here for only one night. I enjoyed my stay lots of activities to do though i did only few because it's a bit hot so i didn't do the buggy ride 
this is a good place for dessert staycation. The negative side I noticed is no tissue box, less toiletries. There is a heater but it doesn't work. Like the water is cold. But anyways, there's always a room for improvement. I would recommend this place. So that's all about the dunes camping and safari hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you won't miss anything thank you for watching bye bye